This week on King Price Extreme TV, we introduce you to Seller Racing, a brand new initiative alongside with King Price Extreme and Clinton Seller, the man with the plan, putting together an incredible initiative for 2019. He's got a massive background in national championship racing. He's got a ton of number one plates, and now he is a team owner trying to rock and roll, get his number one plate back, get his riders into a number one position, and try and be the most dominant team on the tour. We catch up with him to talk about the journey so far. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a huge amount of work. I can't, the word huge doesn't even describe it. It's, a, it's an absolute monster, but a, a very rewarding monster. Um, I've got to say, you know, every time I, I let go of the clutch to start a race, it's a, an achievement over and above just being a rider and uh, having that ability. It's, it's putting this whole program together. You know, getting partners like uh, King Price along and, uh, you know, Performance Technique, Lickby Molly, Dragon, all of those guys that have come on and, and helped me in this project. And it's, it's really in its infancy, you know what I mean? It's, it's its second race first year. I decided to do this in October last year. You know, not I decided, I had to. And uh, I mean, it feels like every race, it, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And, uh, you know, the idea is to bring some young riders through that are going to take over. And, um, you know, I want this to be the number one team and the most successful team. As well as chasing his own championships, he was also in a position to bring on the future of the sport. So Dino was uh, very fortunate to be in the position where he got, you know, a great ride with a good team. And I think it's important. The goal of this team is to bring youth into motorsport, South Africa and overseas. Um, Blaze was always a, always a rider I wanted. You know, unfortunately, it's a monstrously expensive game, this. Um, so uh, I couldn't have two 600 riders. But, you know, I'm lucky enough that uh, with Dino um, going overseas, we were able to, to get Blaze in. Clint called me up and he said, Dino's away for, for SWAT Corps in Cape Town. And I said, he, he said, do I want to come and ride for him? And I said, without a doubt, I'll be here. I mean, we were here last year and uh, for sure I wanted to be, to be back with the team. We worked well together. It, 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 everything goes smoothly and um, of course it's the team I won the championship with so it's great to be back here. We caught up with Clint and Blaze at SWAT Cops as they readied themselves for round number two but what went down at round one? Dizzy round one we uh, got the job done <laughs> so it was good yeah we managed to win both. Um, hard battle in the second one but it was it was good fun it was nice tight competition. Weather there also wasn't so great so uh, after yesterday, where basically the day was rained out, I mean we only did six laps all day. I uh, yeah, I didn't think I didn't think we'd have this right now. So let's just uh, you know keep uh, keep holding thumbs and uh, hopefully the rest of the day we get some dry action. Uh, and Desi Malcolm was there. He was up there. Unfortunately, he's unable to to make it here this weekend at Swat Corps. Um, there's always guys here. You never know. Racing is racing, and it changes up all the time. Um, all we got to do is make sure that we're on top of our game all the time and make sure we are, we are where we are meant to be. One of the most dramatic moves went down at Desi's Raceway for round number one. We got Clint's take on the final corner. You know what I mean? I think if, if I was there, I would have tried. <laughs> you know, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't have crossed the line without giving it a bash. And I knew he would. I, uh, I tried to understand where he would make his move. Um, which is kind of where I, it, it was exactly where I thought it was and I planned accordingly so yeah you know I don't want to say what I did because I might have to do it again. For national championship races the challenges come thick and fast on and off the track but for these two pros they look like they've got their heads screwed on nice and tight. I think uh, the guys that are here and the guys that are committed to this this program this series nationals are you know, they're not doing it because it's a woo, fun ride motorbikes, you know what I mean? They're doing it because they have talent and they're fast. So uh, it's never going to be an easy race. So uh, we just keep working. I think uh, Steve, Steve Cannon's working really hard. Um, we're putting in the work on the motorbike, which is important. And uh, the Yamaha is an unbelievable package. We've known that for years. And for me, it was super important to stay with that Yamaha, with the R1. And I think on, on the 600cc side, the R6 is so much better than anything out there. It is. It's, you, don't, you don't even arrive at the race unless you're on that motorbike, you know, that's how good that bike is. The new Yamaha is an incredible machine. You can literally just jump on the bike and go as fast as you can and it just it does what you want it to do. It, it's, it's an immaculate piece of machinery. Huge thank you to Yamaha for, for coming on board this year. Without them it wouldn't be possible. So a huge shout out to them and yeah, you know, I look forward to the, re the rest of the year, whether it being here or in, in my own team. Um, I just look forward to racing and, and being on board that, that Yamaha.
When it came to racing, Clinton Seller in the 1000cc category got a rocket ship start as he is so famous for getting, but this time around he was unable to run and hide. He quickly got closed down in the opening couple of laps by Lance Isaacs, who passed him, and then it was up to Clint to try and stay on point. The problem was, the tyres had had no testing, very little time running up to the event, and it was clear that Seller was riding out of his skin just to try and stay on the bike. He was lucky enough to walk away with a number two finish that keeps him in the championship hunt. On the 600 side of the coin, it was absolutely pinpoint perfect from Blaze Baker. Whole shot, ran, and no one was going to touch him. In the early stages, it looked like Kewan Snayman might be the man to try and go and chase him down, but that was not to be. One second, two second, eventually a three second gap, and that meant that out of three starts, Blaze had gone three for three. So Blaze, after race one, you had a good strong race, but I mean, most importantly, um, you must feel extremely, be extremely, extremely privileged to be my teammate. Hey? Yeah, that's look, that's like number one, obviously. Hey? Of course, you know, Clint, you, you phone Clint Seller, phoned me up, and the name says it all. He sold it to me straight away. <laughs> he offered me the ride, and I said, I, you know, I have to, I have to come and take this opportunity. So I'm, uh, yeah, really, really happy to be back here and um, back with King Price. Uh, having, having this beautiful hospitality behind us couldn't have been done without the big boss yeah. Jeez, imagine eh? I wonder who did all that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but most importantly, I mean, dude, you had an incredible race. You really rode very well. Mature head, got the job done. So, uh, congratulations. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a privilege to have you with us. Man. Yeah, no, thank you, that. bro. Thank you. And tell me, how did your race go? You know, I, I, I saw the start. Um, the start was good. The rest what happened wasn't. to the rest? <laughs> the rest wasn't so good. Yeah, tough race. I think uh, there's definitely been some changes uh, in terms of our series and our tyres that I, I don't want to make excuses. So I didn't come first, I came second. But you know what, dude? We uh, we got to represent our brand, so I'm going to have to try and do what you're doing. 100%. All the best for the second one. You too, boy. Enjoy. The second super sport event of the day was absolutely perfection, according to Blaze Baker. Another rocket off the line and ran the numbers early on to break away and get that three, almost three and a half second buffer very early in the event. He eventually went on to take the flag, giving him four out of four wins on the 2019 tour so far. And he got a nice high five for some good buddies over the other side of the pond. You know, we, uh, we made a couple changes on the suspension for the second race um, and I knew I would be, if I had a better start, it would also, my mindset for the race would have would have changed completely, which I did, got an excellent start and uh, from the from the beginning just put my head down and opened the gap, I saw one, one second the first lap, two seconds the next, three the next and then I just maintained it for the rest of the race, brought the bike home and uh, yeah, nice four out of four so far from the season. But for sure, when we go to Cape Town, it's going to be a it's going to be a challenge. For Clinton, race number two, by his own admission, was an absolute nightmare. Didn't get the drop off the line that he wanted to, meaning that he was in an early fight for second place. Not just that, he was really having to fight hard to stay on the bike. The setup changes between the two races had not been to his liking, but he did manage to walk away with a podium and just cling on to a championship lead, leaving Swatkoft. Yeah, no, I mean, the racing was lots of fun. It was cool. Like, we were all bumping and pushing and barging, which is pretty fun, I must be honest. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think uh, we, missed, uh, we missed a few things this weekend. You know, I think, uh, I think uh, we changed the tyre and uh, perhaps with a, yesterday raining the whole day. Uh, we didn't. We missed something for sure, and um, yeah, I think I suffered accordingly. I, I didn't. Uh, I couldn't even push really. I was kind of riding around. I don't think I started sweating because uh, they were the risks were just very uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those days you have them. I must say, it's probably my worst day in about seven years. But anyway, um, but yeah, it is what it is, and uh, you know, we go back to the drawing board and, and start getting ready for the fight. Yeah.
So leaving SWAT cops, the team for Seller Racing in conjunction with King Price Extreme walked away with two championship leads. One is extending, one has tightened up. The next round rolls down to Cape Town, which is always going to ask a lot of the riders. The locals down there know exactly how to get the fastest laps around Kalani. But luckily for us, so do Clint and Blaze. Tune in next time as we report back to see what went down at round three of the series.